cultured people love me. You'd be a tool to miss I a don't don't extract or clean to your star skip service. We're almost there, everyone. Stay close. Where are we going now? Just a heads up, please don't go running off once we're inside. You may be the Master Diviner's guests, but she hates people who don't abide by rules and regulations. Oh, and people who ask too many questions, not to mention... Please, don't push your buttons. We're just here for the questioning. We'll leave as soon as it's over. So strange. Oh, let me guess, the gate isn't working? I don't understand, it's never been locked before. And no one told me to take a key. Hey, I know the food here sucks, but that's no reason to shut the gate on our guests! Are you really from the Divination Commission? No way. She's already demoted me to managing the repository. What else does she want from me? There's no need to panic, okay? This isn't the only entrance into the Divination Commission. I know an emergency access. Here it is. You seem familiar. Ugh. Teleron corrosion. What's going on? Great. This gate won't open either. We've kept the Master Diviner waiting. No doubt she'll blame unreliable Ching Jia for messing up once again. I knew I'd offended that Diviner. That's why she sent this girl to help us. Miss Ching Chi, if you don't mind, may I take a look? Huh? Oh, uh, no need. Actually, I was just being polite. I don't see why not. Let me show you. This thing is pretty fun. Amazing, Mr. Yang. You handled that well for an outsider. I officially hand over the title of Keeper of the Loafing Gate to you. Ugh, anyone here surprised? Anyone? Here comes trouble. Ugh, can't we run around to them for a change? Why are there monsters here? <laughs> Lance at the ready. <laughs> what are you looking at? Hey? <laughs> Indestructible. Honored to meet me. Do you know who I am? This big diamond! It's all yours! This is the Matrix of Prescience, a large-scale Jade Abacus calculation terminal. It's the pride and joy of the Divination Commission. <clears throat> We've heard the term Jade Abacus a few times now. Would you mind explaining what it is, Miss Ching Chi? A Jade Abacus is just... A Jade Abacus! <sighs> That's a good question, Mr. Yang. It might take me a minute to give you an answer. Let me think. The book glimpses into the beyond, 
describes it as living jade engraved with symbols for divination into the unknown. Just like engraving a seal, the craftsmen of the Sianjo Artisanship Commission carve faint symbols into pieces of jade and then insert them into machines to get them to operate according to a certain intention. Some jade abacuses are small enough to fit inside bracelets and jewelry. We put the bigger ones into instruments of calculation, so we can simulate the future and learn from the past. Take the Matrix of Prescience here as an example. As long as sufficient information is provided, it can answer questions on anything. From the evolution of natural phenomena to the metabolism of living things. They say the theory behind the symbols was handed down by Noose, the Wisdom Walker. The principles are so profound that in the Divination Commission, only the Master Diviner truly understands them. Seems like it, but Jade Abacus does sound a lot better. Besides, ordinary computers don't have cool backstories. Technology handed down from Noose. Huh. Even in Madame Herta's space station, I never saw anything related to Noose. Anyway, don't dwell on names. As long as the machine works, what does it matter whether it's a Jade Abacus or a computer? Just like today, would it have mattered if Bai Chue had brought you here instead of Ching Chue? It makes no difference at all. We're almost at the Matrix of Prescience Core. The Master Diviner should be waiting. I can wait. Oh, for a minute, I thought I saw Kafka. But no, I think I saw Sino and the purple lady. I feel a boss fight is gonna come up. Diviner Fu, how are things progressing? We are fluctuating between the Heaven and Thunder trigrams. A step forward bridges no distance hence. And for those who don't speak Fu Shen? <clears throat> it's an utter disaster. How's that for a Divination Commission fortune? The Matrix of Prescience has stopped operating, and the symbols have dimmed. There are Stellaron spirits wreaking havoc inside the Commission, and the Cloud Knights are struggling to protect civilians. I want to restore the Matrix of Prescience, but I have no forces available. And on top of all of that, General, we still have to deal with the Stellaron Hunter you handed to us. If that's not an utter disaster, then I don't know what is. <laughs> but your Fu Shen, the Seer, the Boundless Omniscient, Bringing luck and avoiding misfortune is your strong suit, isn't it? You don't need to flatter me, General. It's natural for fortune to fluctuate. There's no escaping it. The Divination Commission simply does its best to uncover the good and the bad and then make the right decisions. We have no magical means to turn the tide. And that is precisely why we need you in charge. When it comes to handling clairvoyant Stellaron hunters, who better than Fu Shen the Seer? As for reinforcements, you didn't think I'd be unprepared, did you? Look, help has just arrived. Master Diviner, I brought you the guests. Though, it wasn't your order I received. <sighs> so general. Even guests are on a payroll these days? Well, since they're here already, I may as well make use of them. Entering the Matrix of Prescience without my permission is a breach of protocol. <sighs> Would be an ungracious thing to say in the present circumstances. I admit I'm pleasantly surprised to see you here. Chinchua is often unreliable, but she comes through for us when the need arises. It's nice to have people I can entrust with difficult matters. I'm not like the General, and you don't even belong to my commission. I certainly won't be bossing you around. No need for the formalities. We heard what the General said. If you need something from us, just say the word. Very well. 
Then I'll keep this brief. The Divination Commission is currently understaffed. I need your help to restart the Matrix of Prescience's space terminals. And eliminate the Stellaron spirits along the way. Yes, but you needn't worry. You have my permission. Jing Chui will accompany you. She'll be in charge of restarting the terminal. As for eliminating the spirits... Psst! <clears throat> I hath divined our future. We are destined to be errand runners. Forever. What? Which magic word? Ah, <sighs> the universal one? Please? Oh... Ugh... Please... Ah, oh, good enough. Is this what I get? No reward and a bunch of extra work? <sighs> the Master Diviner wants me to restart the Matrix of Prescience's base terminals. And bring you along for the ride. <sighs> I worked so hard on getting transferred to the repository. It's the best place to slack off and be invisible. Now, I actually have career prospects. This is terrible! If I screw it up, they might fire me. But if I get it done right, they'll send me more work! <sighs> I'm gonna ask more questions next time. I could be playing Celestial Jade right now! It's been a while, my astral guest. Thanks to you, the Law Fu has successfully brought Kafka to justice. I am truly grateful. There hadn't been a single Stellaron hunter arrest since the Inter-Astral Peace Corporation issued their bounty. <laughs> this is a victory for the Sienjo. Once this is over and the Stellaron curse has been lifted, the Sienjo will have no more use for Kafka. If you wish to claim the bounty, feel free to take her to the IPC. The Alliance has no interest in the IPC's reward. Blade, on the other hand, is a wanted criminal for the Sienjo. He must remain with us. At present, Kafka has no intention of speaking, and the Stellaron Hunter's motives remain unknown. We must rely on the power of the Divination Commission to unearth the truth. Unearth the truth? You mean interrogate Kafka with the Matrix of Prescience? Precisely. The Matrix of Prescience is the Divination Commission's ultimate weapon. It was originally used to calculate navigation routes and predict future events. But the secrets of the Stellaron Hunters cannot remain hidden any longer. <sighs> I have no choice but to move beyond conventional protocol. We must use divination to ascertain Kafka's intent. Everything hinges on restoring the Matrix of Prescience, which is why I would like you to help Diviner Fu complete the setup. I am eternally grateful for your assistance. Let me see. This is the temporal terminal. 
observes the potential of the temporal plane. They say this terminal is designed to retrieve information related to time. Should do it. <laughs> what? You just matched up those symbols. Is that it? The more complex something is, the more important it is to keep it simple. Don't you think? <sighs> if it's so simple, why didn't your master diviner come and do it herself? <laughs> Maybe deep down she just wants to be lazy once in a while. Like me. What the heck is this? It looks like a walking gate. Take it easy. There's nothing supernatural on the CN Joe. It's an aromaton. It's guarding the Matrix of Prescience. They're stationed at various strategic places. Uh, I feel like it needs a sign saying mortals forbidden or something. Are you sure it won't fly into a rage if we walk past it? We're here by order of the Master Diviner to restart the Matrix of Prescience. Friends, not foes. Passage prohibited. Uh, March, you should join the Divination Commission. Qu quick, do something. We're in trouble now. Lance ablaze! Lance forward! Lower your weapon. Are you all right? Stay back, Clara. Naughty child. Nap time. I want to protect everyone too. Help me, Mr. Tara. I'm not afraid. Annihilate. at the ready. Time for a shot. <laughs> Better late than never. <laughs> I need to be brave. Look out! <laughs> I'm on guard. <laughs> I'm okay. Stay back, Clara. <laughs> I'm not afraid of you. Eliminating threat. Friends, I want to protect everyone too. Help me, Mr. Sora. Welcome, customers. <laughs> Lance at the ready. Lower your weapon. Oh, right. Mission Lance ablaze. Lance forward. Reach the end of the story in your own way. This must be the spatial terminal. They say this terminal is designed to retrieve information related to space. You probably could have guessed that. Next. Oh, 
Oh, let me guess. Time, space... I bet the next terminal is energy-related. Darn, the Karma Terminal. They say this terminal is designed to establish causal relationships. Did it. All three terminals activated. Let's go back to the core and report to the Master Diviner. Well done, all of you. I can sense the Matrix of Prescient Symbols re-illuminating. Now, to interrogate Kafka. Those of you in the core may feel a few... impacts. Are you ready? <laughs> Is this really necessary? I said I'd cooperate with you. Okay, Kafka, what are you planning? And second, what happened to your eyes? And where's her coat? Okay, this is a fake. I have no interest in the words of wanted criminals, especially those skilled in the art of manipulation. So, say what you will. I'm here to witness the divination of the Matrix of Prescience. The Divination Commission has ways of extracting the truth, and they're far more effective than a conversation. Then please, Master Diviner, witness my destiny. Expecting. I can't believe it. But the Matrix of Prescience cannot be wrong. Kafka has nothing to do with Estelaron, but you. It's you. Uh oh. That sounds bad. <laughs> Absurd! I'd never have thought it. Ask her yourself. Take as long as you wish. I must report this to the General immediately. Please excuse me. You go ask her. Why me? I know you still have many questions for Kafka yourself. Uh, you go. I don't want to talk to that woman. Be careful, though. Don't get fooled by her again. Fool you what now? Ugh, stop it. I'm getting Fu Shuen vibes. Hi. Yep. She acts like nothing happens. <sighs> you haven't changed a bit. 
I was literally made the mother go check at least. And it was literally created not too long ago. I'm sorry you have to see me in such a sorry state. I really want to rewatch. Actually, can I rewatch the dialogue in this game? Maybe I can actually check out in the data. But I guess we're gonna go with this one. Really? Well, that's good. I wouldn't want to affect your image of me. I didn't talk to you on the train because I knew you and I would get to talk alone here. Worth waiting for, don't you think? You seem to have a lot to ask me. Elio said he foresaw three questions, but they would be the same in essence. If I were to hear one of them, I would then tell you the objective of this trip in all its detail. Since you asked one of the three questions, it means everything is going smoothly. Are you ready to hear my answer? Sienjo's Stellaron problem is not directly linked to us. But if you look at it from Elio's perspective, you can't say the Stellaron hunters are completely innocent. We foresaw all this long ago but chose to remain indifferent until the time was right for us to get involved. Diviner Fu was surprised because she discovered three truths. One, the Stellaron Hunters are not enemies of the Sienjo. You know this now, though you refuse to believe it. And two, someone else brought the Stellaron into the Sienjo and activated it. A result of both internal unrest and external aggression. Traitors on the Lafu and enemies from outside want to overthrow the Sienjo. The Master Diviner is in a hurry to find the General. Presumably to inform him of this fact. However, that's all the Master Diviner knows. Because Elio withheld key pieces of information from me. He foresaw the Divination Commission using the Matrix of Prescience against me. To guard against setbacks, he ensured that I knew only what he wanted the Sienjo Alliance to know in this moment. As for number three, even in their wildest dreams, the Sienjo Alliance could never have guessed it. <laughs> If the Stellaron Hunters aren't the cause of all this, then why are Blady and I even here? Yeah, I really wonder why. We're here for you. Huh? Wait, are we all in the climax of the big soy? Sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? It's no wonder Fu Shen doesn't believe it either. But the Matrix of Prescience doesn't lie. The answer is just that bizarre. The Stellaron Hunters appearing here, Blady getting arrested, me being lured to the Matrix of Prescience. It was all to bring you, the Astral Express crew, to the Sienjo. In the future that Elio chose, the power of the hunt is indispensable. And that's why the Astral Express crew had to come to the La Fu and achieve something important for the Sienjo. You had to establish a connection with the Alliance. I think she's a friend to when we're gonna get the hunt form. But I'm curious what weapon is gonna be. I kind of feel a ball. And 
That's why I had to trick you into coming here. <laughs> I needed you to meet the Lafu's general in person, and to help him resolve the Stellaron crisis. I needed the Alliance to owe you a favor. That way, in the future, at the most critical moment, the Sienjo will offer you their help. What do you think? Surprised? The notorious Stellaron Hunters did all that just to make you a hero of the Sienjo? <sighs> Quite the plot twist, don't you think? <sighs> like I said, Elio withheld key pieces of information from me. The future holds endless possibilities. Knowing the right thing at the wrong time could spoil all our hard work. Why is he behind? Oh boy, I don't have a bad... I have a bad feeling about this. There is only one thing I can tell you about the future. In the best and the worst cases, you will eventually have to face Nanook the destruction. And when that time comes, you will need all the help you can get. It will be a brutal struggle of Ionic proportions. So this gonna be the end game for this? We have to face him? Proportions that neither you, nor I, nor the Astral Express will ever be able to reach. In the vast majority of futures, that's when destiny ends. But, if we follow Elio's plan, there may be a glimmer of hope on the horizon. You know, even eons can be killed. Okay, the way I get there for now.